This one is called The Queen. It works on spinning, it works on static. You can start with it from the ground to see how it feels, and then if it feels comfortable, take it a climb up to get into it. So it's gonna start from a masthead, okay? So if you're gonna take it up off the ground, you definitely wanna be comfortable in your masthead before starting on this one. So the hold, it's gonna be on an inside arm grip, okay? So just like as if you were gonna do an invert where it's really squishing into your armpit and you have that bicep contact. The outside hand, is going to circle around behind and grab thumb up, okay? So it's in a true grip wrapping around the pole. From there, if that feels comfortable, you're gonna bring the opposite leg across and this inside arm that was holding on is going to grab that leg, okay? So when I do grab this leg, I don't wanna just grab a hold of it. I wanna grab to the outside of the leg and I'm pulling across. Okay, so in doing that, in that kind of push across, it's gonna lock this hold in even more. Okay, so if we get into it from the ground, holding as if you were about to invert, outside hand, big circle, and it's gonna grab, try to grab close to your hips, don't grab way up here. Okay, if you grab up here and for some reason you do start to slip, that can be really hard on the shoulder. So you wanna to try to have it as close to your hips as possible. Also because on that, your hips will sink back into it and kind of lock that hand in on the pole, okay? So as close to hips as possible. So especially those of you that have flexy shoulders, try not to use your flexibility to its full extent, okay? So inside arm grab, strong hold. Outside arm, big circle around and grab, thumb up. Outside leg is going to come across and then we're going to squeeze that inside bicep reach across and grab the outside of the thigh on the outside leg. So if you're doing this from the ground, you have to let yourself sink down into it until all that lovely skin catches. So I'm gonna sink into it. If that feels okay, you can lift the leg and then setting it back down to come out, okay? And you'll feel, if you, you don't wanna just pick up the leg all of a sudden because it will not feel amazing here. I mean, it doesn't feel amazing there anyway, but you wanna think of just kind of slowly easing that inside leg off and let your weight sink down. You're gonna sink a little bit, okay? So if you start to lift your leg and you're like, oh, it's not holding, I'm sinking down. That's normal, you are gonna sink because you know our skin moves a little bit <laughs> for better or for worse, okay? So let's look at that one more time real quick from the ground and then we'll take it up from a climb, okay? So I'm in my stronghold, my outside hand reaches behind my back, my outside leg lifts up, knee, my inside hand is going to release, reach to the outside of my thigh and grab, pulling across, and then I'm gonna slowly sink my bottom leg down till I feel that inside arm catch, and then lift. And there is your queen, and setting it down, okay? So that'd be a good way to kind of test it out from the ground, be like, how does this feel? Okay, your contact points, once you're in it from here, a lot of this, okay, a lot of side boob and bicep. And then of course, this hand here is helping you behind your back as well, okay? And in doing that, because your hand is pulling you in, it also helps, you may get some contact area here too, but the primary spots are side boob, bicep, and hand right here, okay? Okay, so if this is feeling comfortable on the ground, we're gonna take it up. And I would say, if you're new to taking it up, don't go super high, right? Because you know, it doesn't feel amazing to leave our skin on the ground or on the pole and the rest of our body come to the ground. So just go like one climb up to test it out and see how it feels, okay? And then if it feels okay, take it as high as you want to, okay? And like I said, this one works on spin or static. I don't find with this one that the spin helps or hurts, but I would say because we're getting into this, excuse me, from a masthead, depending on how you entered your spin, if you were on a climb, when you pull into the masthead, the pole is going to speed up. Okay, which you know can be a good thing, can be a bad thing. If you're in a combo and you want your pole to keep spinning longer, this is a great move to put in the middle because your pole will speed up. If your pole was already going a little on the faster side and you start to get into this masthead, it might get a little too fast. Okay, so just something to keep in mind. Okay, so we're gonna take this up a little bit. We're gonna take it a climb up. Like I said, it doesn't have to be super high, just enough to be like, okay, I'm starting with my feet off the ground. Okay, just one climb up, and then I'm going to pull into my masthead here. Okay, now we're gonna repeat that same process we did on the ground. My outside arm is going to circle around, grab behind my back, okay? My outside knee is going to come up, inside arm releases, grabs that knee, and then if it feels okay, release the inside leg. And it can be bent or straight to come out, rehook that leg, re-grab the arm, 
and you're back in your mask set. Okay, so that is your queen. Try it out, put it on static, put it on spin, great one for a photo shoot, put it together in a combo with some of your favorite pole moves, other tricks and transitions that you like. Let me know how it goes. Mm -hmm.